वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला आई एम डॉक्टर अर्षद राणी एंड टीचिंग द सब्जेक्ट कंप्यूटर एडेड इंजीनियरिंग टूडेज टॉपिक इज यूज ऑफ द सिमेट्री एंड एलिमेंट क्वालिटी इन मेशिंग हेयर आर दॉइंट्स विच आर कवर्ड इन द टॉपिक दैट इज यूज ऑफ द सिमेट्री इन द मेशिंग and element quality in the meshing in a structure if a structure is symmetric then the size of your finite element model can be reduced which in turn reduces the time and cost of your analysis when you think of a symmetrical structure you mostly likely thinking of a structure that has one or more planes of reflective symmetry although there are other kinds of symmetry available in analysis packages reflective symmetry also one of the type that is used in analysis analysis also provide a series of special solution sequences that automates the sum of these other types of analysis there are known as cyclic symmetry features and are covered in a cyclic symmetry 577 version if a structure is symmetric then the size of our finite element model can be reduced which in turn reduces the time and cost of your analysis for each plane of symmetry that you have in your model a model size can be reduced by a factor of approximately 2 the figure a and b illustrates the structures that contain one and two planes of symmetry respectively in the first case only half of model needs to be presented in the second case only quarter of the model needs to be represented in the figure shows the symmetric in the meshing if the loads applied to the structure are symmetric relative to the plane of symmetry then the full model can be replaced with half of the model by applying a symmetric boundary condition on the other hand if the loads are anti symmetric the same simplification can be achieved by applying the anti symmetric boundary condition a symmetric boundary condition implies that the displacements normal to the plane of geometry and rotations about the axis in the plane of symmetry are zero at the plane of symmetry an anti symmetric boundary condition implies that the displacements in the plane of symmetry and rotations normal to the plane of symmetry are zero at the plane of symmetry any general loading condition can be broken into combination of symmetric and anti symmetric loads relative to the plane of symmetry here in the figure you can walk through an example of applying symmetry using the model in figure a this load can be broken into two separate loads as shown in figure b and figure c note that the figure a is a case of general loading applied to a structure with a plane of symmetry figure b and figure c represents a symmetric loading and an anti symmetric loading respectively applied to the same structure by using symmetry only one half of the structure as shown in figure b needs to be modeled by applying the symmetric boundary condition at the plane of symmetry the figure shows the symmetric and anti symmetric models if we use any one of such model there is a considerable time reduction and easily obtain the solution over the structure now element quality in meshing the shape of elements in finite element analysis must be distorted from their ideal shapes when meshing the irregular or complex geometric shapes every element is designed to work properly within a certain range of shape distortion exactly how much distortion and what type of distortion is allowed before an element degenerates depends on factors such as element type numerical procedures used in the element design and so forth the ideal shape of 2d elements ideal shape of 2d elements or triangular elements is an equilateral triangle and quadrilateral and for it is square
The ideal shape of 3D elements as a tetrahedral element is a regular or isoscalous tetrahedron and hexahedron. If the actual shape that the element assumes after mapping onto model geometry differs too much from the natural shape, the element becomes degenerated and procedure enormous results. Result quality is proportional to element quality. The major type of degeneration are the aspect ratio, skewness, Jacobian ratio, warping factor, maximum corner angle, orthogonal quality, etc. etc. Generally, large angles between the edges are more degenerating than the small angles. In FE mesh, should be run through an element quality check and degenerated element should be eliminated. In order to get reasonably accurate result, it is always important to generate a structured mesh with good quality parameters. The element quality in meshing as shown in figure for element quality uh, coupling with the shaft in model in ANSYS Mechanical 16.0. The figure shows the mesh by element quality in ANSYS 16.0 version. Degenerated elements increase the inaccuracy of the finite element representation and have a detrimental effect on convergence of finite element solutions. Nowadays, most of the FE simulation softwares are equipped with inbuilt quality check option and quality based mesh generation algorithms. Maintaining element quality is always a challenge for analysts during mesh convergence studies. Through element size minimize, it is of no use if they are violating the quality requirements. So it is important to know how to calculate these parameters for different element shapes. All the element distortions are measured against the ideal shapes. In the subsequent articles, we are going to discuss about all the quality parameters and their calculations. Okay friends, this is about the meshing techniques and the use of symmetry in meshing. Thank you.